only a year ago that my favorite device at the end of this year would be a handheld gaming device. I might have believed you because of course there is the Switch. But I would have never believed that it is an Asus device, especially this, which is the Asus ROG Ally. In this video, I'll be sharing the games I have on my Ally, what I'm currently playing, the game launcher I'm using and why it's not Amory Crate, how I use my Ally and the settings I use to preserve battery health, the my Asus app and just everything that you need to know about the ROG Ally. I'm Captain Awesome. This is Geekception. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Hit that subscribe button if you like what I do here as it really helps me out. And let's start with Amory Crate. And the first thing you notice is that the game launcher I have here looks nothing like Amory Crate. And don't get me wrong, if you use Amory Crate, it is still a perfectly nice game launcher. And of course, if you want to customize all of the options you get in the command center on the left there, you still need to use Amory Crate in one way or the other. But immediately I started using the Ally, I noticed that I just did not like the experience here and while you can add other apps and all, it just kind of dumps all of your game in one place without any sort of categorization. And I have to give credit to Asus here that even though I don't use Amory Crate a lot, I do use it to update and they are very very generous with the updates to the Ally. Take for example the most recent update which brought gyro controls and settings directly in Amory Crate. No need to use any third party app anymore. And also one of the most common Ally apps is to disable CPU boost for better battery life and they've also managed to bring it in to Amory Crate right here with the toggle in the command center which means that if you play a lot of games handheld you will definitely enjoy just having simpler settings thanks to Amory Crate but it still just doesn't work for me which leads into my favorite launcher of choice Play Night Play Night is a launcher that enables you to pretty much add your games from everywhere including emulation and then displaying it nicely and compared to Amory create play night is just a superior experience and you will see that very soon now i'm in full screen mode right now on play night and the theme i'm using is called the hero team and i like it because it is beautiful yet very minimal and i can filter my games by each store that i've linked here such as ea epic games my favorites here my most played games across all of my library the games that i currently have installed my steam library and xbox game pass now i no longer have nintendo switch games on here but when i had nintendo switch games on here there was actually a category i could have the games as well which you do not get on amory crate and something that i like on play nights are some of the extensions that i have here such as when i open a game such as spider-man right here you can see i actually have like a time played here i have like a trailer so it automatically downloads a trailer for all of the games that i have in my library you can see how long to beat.com data there such as how long the main story is going to take and how long i have played what is my completion status and yeah i have lots of plugins here and i cannot take credit for any one of this because i have to give credit to Johi's retro handheld who has made an extensive play night guide that i will link in the description below for how you can also set up play night so that you can have all of these cool features here and i know if you're just getting into play night it can be very overwhelming so i really suggest you go watch joey's video as he you know does a step by step on how to actually get started on play night for a quick recap of my add-ons here on play night let me switch back to play night desktop mode which is as easy as just going into the settings here going into switch to desktop mode and you know it goes back to my rog desktop for a quick second before it would then launch me into the play night desktop app now going into the menu and extensions right here i have a few extensions here that are very very essential to my play night experience such as the purchase date in Importer that imports the purchase date of all the games that I have. A duplicate hider to hide duplicate games because you know sometimes I've bought a game on Epic Game Store and then I also have it on my Steam, such as Lawn Mowing Simulator. I loved it. I bought it twice. So you can hide those games so it does not show twice in your Play Night library. Theme Extras, which was I think one of the themes I installed that needed it. A Game Pass Catalog Browser, uh, which I'll show you in a quick second here. How Long to Beat.com, which shows that data that I showed just now. And also a Success Story which shows you like how uh, many achievements you have across all of your library. I'll also show you that right now. And extra metadata to be able to download all of your, you know, trailers like you saw for Spider-Man just now. So you actually have like a very, very nice uh, experience. So now going over some of the quick tabs on the left here in Play Night Desktop mode, I just go here and you can just see a quick overview of the statistics of my game library, all the games that I have installed, the ones I don't have installed, my total playtime, um, average playtime for games. And it's just, you know, for a data nerd, 
nerd like me who likes to just see everything, it's just nice to be able to see all of this data uh, with a quick overview right there. Next is a success story right here, which shows all the achievements that I have in my games, such as, you know, the games I have installed, how many games am I playing right now? What is the achievement status? What is the progression level? So if you're someone who likes getting achievements like I do in games, I'm so obsessed with Spider-Man right now. I think I've gotten like 88% of the achievements right now. Uh, you would be very, very happy with success story right here. And next is the Xbox uh, Game Pass library here, which shows shows all the Xbox Game Pass uh, games that you can install or add to your library because there's this weird thing where on Game Pass, uh, you need to add a game to your library first before you can then download or install it. But here you can browse through the games and then also add it to your library. So you don't need to go outside into the Xbox app on its own. You can do pretty much everything under Play Night here, which is super cool. And the last one is How Long to Beat, which shows all your games, uh, which of course you can have different filters and how long it will take you to beat each and every one of them. Um, I have far too many games I, that I am never going to beat. I'm never not even going to install because, you know, we just love buying games when it's on sale. But yeah, you can pretty much see a quick overview of all of your games and how long it will take you to actually beat them. Now, in my opinion, one of the best features that Play Night has that is way better than Amory Create is the ability to automatically quit game clients when you finish playing a game. Let me explain. So let's say I play a game like American Truck Simulator right here. I enjoy it. It's one of my most favorite games and I quit it. It brings me back into Play Night right here. Normally, you know, Steam will be running in the background and if it were Hammery Crate, I would have to manually exit Steam myself or I would have to deal with Steam just running in the background all the time, which I do not like. Play Night solves this brilliantly. Now, let me switch, quickly switch back into desktop mode and show you what I mean. So here, in play night i can go into the settings right there and there is an auto close client section here under the settings which you can tick to enable play night to wait in my case i have selected 60 seconds and after 60 seconds when you've quit a game or you've exited a game it will automatically close the game client which has been a life changer which means that i don't have to deal with epics a um, thousand notifications i don't have to deal with ea telling me something is not working or i need to log in i don't have to do any of that it's like i i quit the app 60 seconds later and i am it's gone like i i never have to see the client again again and I can just remain in play night and this is why instead of launching Amory Crate by default when the ally boots up I have disabled that and of course if I press the button right here it will launch Amory Crate I'm not going to do that I have uh, instead selected to have play night auto launch at boot up with the ROG ally so that I'm immediately thrown into my favorite games right here and I can just start playing immediately I don't even have to interact with Amory Crate at all and since we're already here I might as well tell you about the games that I'm currently playing right now that I have installed on the Ally. Now, I know there are many guides on how to uh, open your Ally and upgrade the storage. And I agree that the storage that is bundled here, 512 gigs, is simply not enough. I'm always constantly having to manage the games that I have installed uh, or delete games that I've finished playing and then install other games. So uh, until I, you know, upgrade the Ally, definitely that's something I would have to do. But, uh, you know, the focus here is just on what games that I have installed so definitely it's not as many games that I would like because of that 512 gig limitation but I think one of the reasons why I've also not upgraded it and maybe this might be an unpopular opinion is because I'm a hoarder I know I tend to you know hoard things and if I you know had like one terabyte or two terabyte I know I'm going to install games that I'm never going to play but would be nice for me to have on the ally anyway because I might play it but I never would but I would still install it because uh, there's space anyway so I think, um, you know, many of you watching can definitely relate to me on this one, which is why I've sort of, you know, it's it's a temporary limitation and it gets annoying to, you know, constantly delete games and, you know, uh, uh, install games and manage all of that. But I think it has always also taught me a little bit to be like a bit more thoughtful about the games that I want to play and, you know, to actually finish the games that I've, you know, I'm playing on the Ally. And I think I've already finished like five games on the Ally right now which I think is the most I have ever finished in a year before uh, I got the ally because I, I had a Mac before, so it was n impossible for me to play games. So let's quickly go over some of the games that I have here that I'm currently enjoying. And of course, 
the tab I'm under here in Play Night is the uh, installed tab, which are all the games that I have installed. And in case you're wondering, these are the games that I have as my favorite. Of course, American Truck Simulator with a new update uh, for winter, uh, Spider-Man and No Man's Sky. I was a pre-order 2016 uh, No Man's Sky Day 1. So yes, I am here for you know the redemption arc and all of that. The game was always good for me anyway. So I'm um, going into uh, the games I'm playing. I'm definitely, definitely enjoying Spider-Man. As you can see, I've put in 54 hours in the past, I think, three weeks. And I finished the game. Um, I finished three of the DLCs, no, three, yeah, two of the DLCs. I'm in the last DLC right now. Um, it's been a very, very enjoyable game and it just looks really, really nice here on the Ally. And the next game I'm playing is uh, Fortnite. And I must say, I downloaded it to try um, the Fortnite Lego, Lego Fortnite and I, I'm very, very surprised at how good it is, actually. So, as you can see, I only have one hour here. I've not played it a lot, but I, you know, just downloaded it. I never thought I would actually, you know, play Fortnite ever because it's never just been my type of game. I'm not a Battle Royale type kind of a gamer, but it's it was enjoyable, actually, in the one hour that I played it to try it out. And uh, next is Thirsty Suitors. And, um, yeah, I have logged in about four hours in this game right now. It's been really, really enjoyable. Turn-based uh, uh, uh game rpg i would say it's an rpg i'm not sure but it's been really really enjoyable the next one is uh, lego brick tales and i think this one just you know tickles my lego uh, 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 fantasies and it's just been really really fun and especially on the ally here it looks really 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 good lego brick tales there um the next is quantum break and the kind of games i like um you know are games that are very story heavy so you know quantum break um detroit become human was really like a really really good game that i also enjoyed so um, you know when I saw this game recommended as well and for the longest time I've not had access to like a PC so this is one of the games that has been on my list to playlist for a long time and you know I only downloaded it I started playing it but I didn't want to like you know uh, I played while I was also still playing Batman, uh, Spider-Man. So I just, you know, put a pause on it. And the next game is Jusant, which, of course, I love simulators. And this is like a climbing simulator. Uh, and the twist here is that the gameplay mechanics, which I think is very nice. It has a gorgeous interface, as the trailer just said just now. And it's just one that I think I will enjoy playing when I don't want to, you know, play like a heavy game like Spider-Man, for example. Um, of course, uh, Big Daddy Cyberpunk 2077 a game that I think here on the Ally I've played for almost 50 hours um, it's just amazing that we get to be able to play games like this handheld and you know I remember playing this at a meeting where I took the, the Ally and I was playing Cyberpunk on battery and you know the people I, I went there to meet were like so surprised like what you can do that now and I was like yeah yeah you can you absolutely totally can and i i think it just showcases the ally very very well unpacking is also another indie game that i'm playing and i've been trying to play a lot of him indie games this year like you know i've played vemba i've played a fly above or a game like that um you know fire watch and unpacking so i'm just you know going through all of the indie games and most of them i uh, install via xbox game pass because i find that the library there is very nice and you know i can just you know play it and maximize my subscription every month um firewatch here which i've also mentioned i think it's a very chill relaxed game um i like the visual style i've wanted to play this for a long time on the switch but i could not justify paying like the 60 dollars or however much it was on the switch and you know it's included in under game pass so i've started playing that as well um speaking of the switch i have like almost 10 um lego games on the switch i love legos and um i found this lego lord of the rings on my steam account and i think i bought it a long time ago i think through Hundo, humble bundle or something like that and i just found it in my library randomly and i've just been playing it again um of course my favorite game of all time american Tr truck simulator um i think i've logged again almost 50 hours here on the ally as well it's my most favorite game to play and on the ally here it doesn't matter that it's it's a small display i just enjoy trucking and you know delivering packages all around america so yeah it's been a very enjoyable game to play here on the ally and of course lastly is no man's sky which i pre-ordered in 2016 i have enjoyed countless hours in it here both on the ally um, 
um, on, you know, cloud gaming on the PlayStation, on my friend's PlayStation 5. So yeah, this has been a game that I've really enjoyed playing as well. So that is all the games that I have installed here on my ROG Ally. And if I go into my most played, there are of course some of the games here that I don't have installed. And, you know, the nice thing here with Play Night is you can actually just see all of the games you have. And for me, I've enabled it to darken the games that are not installed. So like it's a bit darker. The, the trailers, the uh, cover photo is darker there. But if I click on it, you can actually see like how long I've played. And if you just give it a quick second, you would also be able to see like the trailer load as well and play. So yeah, that is the games I have here, both on my uh, to playlist and also the ones that I have played the most. Next, let's talk about how I use my ally here and while this is a mostly portable game console of course you can hold this and bring it anywhere i've mostly used it plug-in in the outlet with the 65 watt charger and if i go into armory crate right here my power profile that i use almost like 99 percent of the time is the turbo mode um because i want the best performance i'm always plugged in because i just you know i don't want any compromises i want i don't want any lags in my gameplay and i'm not trying to optimize the battery life i am mostly at home anyway so i do not mind just having it plugged in and just getting the best quality i can all the time but captain awesome if you have it plugged in all the time then what about your battery and that is an excellent question that you did not ask now asus thought of this and i think this is one of the reasons why i really like the ally uh here is that if you go into the my asus app that is bundled here here and you go into battery care um there is this customization mode here i think i'm just going to zoom in on my camera so you can see what i mean um you can actually see like there is this battery care mode that i have turned on and because it's turned on the battery will never go above 80 percent which means that um after 80 percent i get to use power off of my power brick and not the battery so i can preserve the battery health for longer because again i am having this plugged in all of the time and it will be horrendous for the battery and the battery life if i was always using you know topping up the battery to 100 percent all the time so i suggest if you're like me and you want to you know game with your ally plugged in most of the time i suggest you also turn on battery care mode in the my asus app as it would really really help you with your battery now since we are in the my asus app i might as well tell you how i get updates here on the ally and as i said earlier asus has been really really you know, are consistent with the updates here for the Ally. And if I go under live updates here under customer support in the My Asus app, you can actually see Asus frequently updates the Ally here. And, you know, the most recent update I think that I updated was the RC71L334, which I updated, I think, yesterday or day before yesterday, which brought that ability to have the CPU boost uh, a toggle here and also the ability to um, uh, control your gyro controls in Amory Create itself. So, yeah, it's been very nice and I have to really, really, you know, give a lot of credit to Asus for just how much they have supported the ally here. And I still get updates for things like, you know, the Wi-Fi. I've never had any problems with the Wi-Fi, but they're constantly updating it. Of course, graphics, they've constantly updated, you know, the graphics driver. Sometimes even as new games come out that crash, right, uh, to update those crashes. So it, Asus, I really have to like, you know, give them props for just how good of a job they've done when it comes to updates here on the ROG Ally. Now, there are four ways to update the Ally and it might sound confusing, but it really isn't. Now, we've already covered two, which is using the My Asus app right here, which I just showed you right now, and Amory Crate as well. So if you open Amory Crate right here, um, give it a second, you go under Content um, and you go to Update Center, you also get the ability to update your Ally. But there are two more ways that we've not covered here. And I think the, uh, the third one here is by going to the store app so you open the microsoft store and again it sounds confusing and it looks confusing but i promise you it really isn't confusing that much that much i would say is you go under the store there you go to library and you'll be able to click on get updates and you'll be able to see all of the updates that you have like here in this case i have updates for the you know xbox app i tap update all and it will update so amory create itself is updated via this uh specific method of the microsoft store so you would definitely want to periodically check the store from time to time and also the last way to actually get updates here is by going into your settings this is your windows settings in this case going to windows updates and then as you can see here um i have an update already pending for me there and i can just click install all and it will start installation so yes that is the fourth way so for a quick recap we have in amory create right here 
right under emory crate you have a way to update right there you have in the my asus app uh under customer support and live update you have the ability to update there um under microsoft store you go on to library and you should be able to see all of the pending um updates that you already have there and lastly we have under microsoft settings and under windows update you have how to update there as well so four ways to update your ally so that you can get the maximal performance and thank you for watching this has been what is on my rog ally where i've taken you through you know the apps i have installed here that i use most of the time uh, my launcher of choice how i update the ally and i've had the ally now for i think about three four months and it's just been so much fun um i have enjoyed playing with this almost everywhere on the go you know at home i'm mostly at home anyway uh and it's just been a game changer and as i said in my intro if you told me at the beginning of the year that my favorite gaming device of choice will be a portable handheld from Asus. I'll be like, huh, what? But yeah, here we are, end of 2023. And definitely this is my editor's choice for gaming uh, console of the year. And, you know, I would, you know, like to give a huge shout out to the folks over at Asus who... Um, are very passionate about this, you know, not just in them telling us that they are passionate about it, but in just the, you know, kind of features we have gotten. And I did not even talk about, you know, the comfort, how comfortable the Ally is. For example, you know, in the on the left here, it has this curve and makes it easy to hold. So when you're gaming for like a long period of time, you don't feel that fatigue, which maybe you feel on another handheld from another uh, uh, laptop manufacturer that I've heard is not very comfortable. I have not tried it but i can imagine the the curves here make it very nice to hold uh the buttons are you know very very clicky and very very easy to use the screen is nice the battery life is crap but you know i never played on battery life anyway the speakers the speakers are really good um the stereo speakers i remember playing at my friend steven's house and he was like what is that the is that from the console he couldn't believe just how loud the sound was right the quality of the sound as well not just that it was just loud right it was good quality sound so yes that has been it for what is on my rog ally please tell me what is on your rog ally what are some of the games or or apps you have installed uh, do you use armory create like i do here oh, well that i do not use here i use play night what what are some of the things that i should check out that you have on your ally let me know i would really really love it thank you for making it all the way to the end of this video all the links to everything will be in the description especially joey's channel check it out joey's retro handheld you know is one that i watch all the time i really enjoy his stuff and you know it goes into many videos about the ally not just the ally but the legion go as well and other you know old handheld games gaming consoles as well and uh yeah until next time i have been your captain of awesome this is geekception please do hit that subscribe button if you enjoy what i do here to be really really helpful and until next time don't forget to stay awesome bye